Uh, the reason I knew that there was something wrong, of course, is because of the bleeding that I had for 10 years. Okay, and, and because of the negligence that I didn't go in, everything developed into tumors. So then when the tumors did arise, and, and I could see it in my body because my body was a little bit deformed, they, they became so painful that uh, many times they just felt like they were just going to burst right through me. And, and so, uh, yes, the pain was excruciating. I had endometrium cancer. For those that don't know what that is, it's um, cancer that has uh, taken control of the, the uterus, the female organs. Well, um, what happened was I was spending the night at my friend's house and, and my mom called me and she wasn't really talking so I kind of knew something was wrong but still I stayed at my friend's house and the next day my mom called me again and, and I, I knew something was wrong. I go, you know what mom, I, I'm just going to go home because you're not telling me something and I know something's wrong. So I went home and she could barely walk. She was laying down on the floor. And I, I don't know how she got there but she was on the floor and with the phone by her. And when my brother called me he was like, Jade, there's something wrong with my mom. Or, something's wrong with mom, you know, um, I'm actually kind of worried because she can take pain. And she was, she'd even said, for her to say that she wanted to go to the hospital or emergency was a big thing because she doesn't like to do those things. So we, we inquired, well, you know, what, what is the life expectancy for something like this uh, for, you know, as, as far as she has gone? And um, they specified that I had five years. They gave her five years, and they told her, to, told my sister to start preparing the family. They didn't prepare the family for her death. And um, it really did break me to see my mom like that. And um, my brother is so loyal to my mom. So whatever my mom wants to do, he's going to be right there behind it. But with me, I'm like, no. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm more of the persistent one to where if it's not right, it isn't right. Well, this particular day I had to go to... Um, this particular evening, I had to go to um, emergency again because I had this dreadful pain in my abdomen and uh, they ran all kinds of tests on me that, that night. I went uh, and I took a CAT scan. They took x-rays, um, blood tests. They uh, put all kinds of tubes in my nose. The night before we had the cancer appointment, um, I had asked my mom what time she wanted to wake up because the appointment was at 9 o'clock and she said 8.10 so I'd walk back to my room and um, I, on my cell phone I always put like a side note on my alarm so I know what I'm doing. I, well I was writing my little side note it was wake mom up, cancer appointment and it was just you know four little things it was just simple but just like when I looked at appointment I got so much downloading on me just on whatever thing I had been taught by my pastors or my teachers or the spiritual fathers that have you know, been in my life and, and and everything just came down on teaching on how do I see that. Um, it was replacing how do I see that and I put defeated. I put defeated and so it was wake mom up cancer defeated. And the next morning I'm driving you know and it's in the back of my mind and I hadn't told my mom anything about about the whole note issue and what I had you know you know happened. So um, I'm, I'm driving with my mom and it's in the back of my head, you know, what had happened, but it's not, I don't say anything to her, we're just going, we're just doing whatever we're doing. And um, the doctor comes in and he, you know, he says, or she says, um, she says, you know, I'm going to read you the results of um, your CAT scan. She says there isn't any trace of cancer anymore. And, um, you know... Did I become joyful? Did I go like this? Did I do anything? You know, it was like, I knew it. I mean, I always knew that, you know, and, and my daughter is over here getting excited because she's that way anyway. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's like, okay, I was just waiting for that, and I knew that and, would happen. Uh, when she had said, we cannot find any cancer, I was just like, that's so bad because the night before, you know what I mean? It was just like, it was so bad. And in me, I, my mom was like, and she was just in shock, and I was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But I didn't want to scream in the room, girl, because I can go high. You know what I mean? So I was just like, whatever. I couldn't believe it. I was, you know, I thought that maybe she wouldn't make it, but but then my, my sister called me that day, and I don't know, it, I, everything changed for me. That's, that's when I, I really started talking to God, you know, I started praying a lot, and that was... I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm just so happy that it happened because I don't know what I'd do without my mom. 
isn't until that night that my son comes in and he says, what are you doing in the closet, mom, are you okay? And I says, you know, I'm here in this closet and right now is when I finally realized that, man, God did an awesome job for me. He did, wow, you know, I mean, it's just not going through it. I mean, you know, I'm seeing it, all the little procedures that I went through. And really, I couldn't see the radiation because you can't see the radiation. But how much of it has it killed inside of me? How much of my blood cells has it killed inside of me? And yet, here I am, I'm standing up, I'm walking, I'm strong, I have energy. And, you know, then that's when I realized, you know, oh God, it's just, man, your son has really, has really walked the line for me. All of this was just a miracle. It really was. And God does things big and everything's blessings inside of blessings and I've met so many of his blessings and really we are for signs and wonders because there has been some awesome miraculous things that have happened to my family. Such favor on his servants. It's living proof that he's real. He's out of nowhere. Yeah. One day my mom went and she got the results and she was ill.